Something crazy happened a couple weeks ago, and it looked a little something like this. Pretty scary, right? So here's the story. I'm just finishing up a video. I'm rushing home to get a shot for that video, and I take this shot right here. It's starting to rain. It's looking a little gloomy. Nothing too out of the ordinary. As I'm rushing inside because it's starting to rain, it starts just downpouring. So I go in the house and as I get in the house, I could barely close the door. And all of a sudden, the craziest wind I've ever heard, seen in my life, just like started pounding the house and just the trees and everything. And just these super loud noises. And I look out the window and it's like, terrifying and i'm like all right uh maybe we should get in the basement my poor dog knew he had to run somewhere but he didn't know where so he just kind of started running in place and it was just madness and in 10 seconds it was over we look out on the front lawn and there's just branches i see in the middle of the road there's a huge tree down just across the road and then I look down to my neighbor's house and there is a live wire on the ground. So I look out of my back door and there's branches everywhere. There's debris everywhere. And I'm thinking, what was that? Like it, it looked like a tornado. I mean, I've never been in a tornado before, but then I'm thinking like a microburst or something. And this whole time I can hear the wire buzzing uh, outside and I'm like freaking out cops start showing up, the fire department starts showing up, and the wire ended up catching their the neighbor's mailbox on fire and catching the trash cans on fire, and this thing's still buzzing. The fire department is there, but they can't put the thing out because it's a live wire, so you don't want to put water on it. So the power's still on, and I'm pacing back and forth in my house thinking, uh, are you going to shut the power off? and put this thing out and I'm just watching it. I'm looking out, I'm pacing. So finally, after about 20 minutes, they shut the power off, power went off in the house and like, I didn't think it would be a relief, but the power going out in the house, I was like, ah, yes. And then they put the wire out, uh, they put the trash cans out in the mailbox. And uh, now we just had this huge tree in the middle of the road. They came and started sawing up the tree and then I started hearing that there was actually a car underneath the tree. So fast forward a couple hours, we still have no power and they're still working on the tree. And I start to see the car underneath the tree as they're, as they're removing it. And the person was super lucky that they didn't get really hurt. Imagine the luck driving down the street and a giant tree just falls on your car. That's horrible luck. So they got the tree completely cleared. I look outside and it's pitch black. The whole neighborhood is it has no power. Uh, luckily, we got it back a couple hours later and I went to bed. Next morning, I woke up to check out the damage. I was very lucky to see that we actually had no damage. I mean, we had very minimal on like the deck. We had a piece of lattice that got um, hit by a branch, but very minimal, could have been a lot worse. And I decided that I was just gonna clean up all the branches. The city came back, took all the branches that they cut up from the tree, got rid of that, and it was all cleaned up. But then I went and talked to my neighbor. Unfortunately, my neighbor was not as lucky as me, and I had no idea like the extent and the power of whatever this thing was until he invited me over to take a look and he had trees that were huge just like 40 50 foot trees that were just completely uprooted he had trees that were snapped in half so i'm walking through my neighbor's backyard and we're seeing that the the storm uh basically pushed the trees in one direction like you could see a clear path for you know how the the trees fell there were root balls that were like three times my height, just trees just tipped right over. This obviously wasn't just wind. 
straight up wind wouldn't do something like this. And he actually sent me some footage of the storm and actually seeing the footage, like you can tell that it's more than just wind. <laughs> As we're walking through talking about what it could be we're you know i thought it was a microburst because i heard microburst can have damaging winds like that or a tor tornado because of the path but he's the one that said he saw on the news it was actually a derecho or potentially a derecho and the news said that there was an official derecho that touched down which i had never heard of before in my life but apparently the last derecho that hit in Massachusetts was way back in 1995. Apparently it's a really rare thing that happens. Wikipedia time. A derecho is a widespread, long-lived straight-line windstorm that is associated with a fast-moving group of severe thunderstorms known as a mesoscale convective system and potentially rivaling hurricanic and tornadic forces. Derechos can cause hurricane force winds, tornadoes, heavy rains, and flash floods. And I even read an article that said it was confirmed that a tornado came out of one of these derechos in Massachusetts, not too far from here. Straight line windstorm. That totally makes sense to me looking at my neighbor's backyard because it was, there were three or four huge trees in a straight line knocked over and then beyond that more trees and more trees there are probably 20 25 30 trees i wanted to get a better look at all the devastation so i called in a friend q truncat fpv Big shout out to Troncat FPV. You can see the full video that he made of all that stuff. He does awesome work. Check it out, link in the description. Go see the full video of some of the clips that I showed you. So that's my story. Basically, just wanted to talk about a derecho because I never heard of it in my life. And I think after all this, I think it's confirmed that it actually touched down in my neighborhood. Luckily, nobody was hurt and I'm thankful for that. If you wanna see more of my content, you can click here-ish and here-ish, check out those videos. This one was a little different. I mostly do home repair stuff. So I'll see you over there or there. Go check it out. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.